You don't know it, but there's actually a little window in front of me on my computer. So I'm like looking around it. Hey guys. Okay. So this is take two. Cause it, ah, it's something happened. It drives me crazy. Sometimes I hate technology. Well, sometimes it frustrates me. I don't ever hate it, but sometimes it frustrates me. Okay. So to the point, Mrs. Hudeberg, to the point. I wanted to come in and talk to you and clarify hopefully what we're getting, what, what the rest of this class is going to look like. I've had some questions that are, I mean, that asked, I thought we were doing a project by ourselves, but now it looks like we're doing it with a group and I just don't know what's going on. All right. So let's clarify. You're doing the brainstorming piece with a group. You're doing the actual research on your own. I put you in a group for the brainstorming just because I think it's always good to bounce ideas off of each other. And then I want you to actually do the process by yourself. And I also want to say this. This class is about learning the process of action research. But we're going to learn it by doing it. So that means as we get your topic, I mean, we're going to shrink it so skinny that it can only be, you know, about a certain specific, specific, specific topic that is very doable within our one semester time frame. And to see where we're going during the rest of the semester, I've also provided a timeline, and that's in the link below. You can see a picture of it, and then there's a link if you want to print it off. That's for you to have. Might have to be adjusted. I don't think so. I think it looks pretty solid. So you'll be going through all that process. So I probably, well, we might, you never know. What comes out of this class is going to be your working knowledge of the process so that you can continue to do this kind of thing in the future. And when somebody talks about, you know, research-based, that, you'll understand what that means. Okay, so don't anybody freaking out about there's no way I can do can, We can do this. It's all going to be good. We're going to work together. We're going to get it, get through it. Now, topics. Topics need to be specific to your school, your school district, your classroom. Wherever you're at right now is the kind of question that you need to be thinking about. Now, that question needs to be framed under the umbrella of that long fork uh, scenario. And I gave you that scenario to kind of give us some boundaries. I wanted to give us the boundaries of diversity and thinking about how what I'm doing impacts the future. Now let's look at the first thing is diversity. And I mentioned this already, but diversity is not just ethnicity. Diversity can be a whole bunch of things, from special needs to gender to, I had another one and now it's gone. <laughs> but ethnicity does go in there, but you need to figure out what kind of diversity are you going to focus on. And then in the long term, the second thing is how does it affect the future? So what, am I, what I'm doing now, whether it's uh, minute math, whether it's stop everything and read or drop everything and read, I guess it is. Whether it's um, letting my kids use exercise balls as chairs. Whether it's putting a, a, a family consumer science class online. How is that going to impact the future? So we have to figure out what the impact is right now. So that's, the, that's the, going to be the scope of your personal project. And then at the end of the semester, when everybody's done with their research and their writing, we're going to come back together in our groups, and we're going to take each of those individual projects, and we're going to say, okay, so each of those individual projects, how do they impact the future for our fictitious Long Fork School District? And I'll have you do that in a presentation form because it's going to be like you're going to go before the school board and say, here's what we did, here's why we did it, and here's how it's going to impact the future. Okay, so kind of wrapping it all up and bringing it into a pretty package. So brainstorming in groups. You need to be making an appointment to talk to me about refining your topic. 
And now that you've watched this, you might want to go back into your Google document where we did that initial brainstorming and make some changes. I'm also working to make some comments there. And as soon as I get each one done, I'll let your group know that those comments are made. And then we're going to move into the process, the, the continued process of your individual project. And then at the end of the semester, we'll come back together and put all the pieces together and say, here's how each of these little individual pieces fits in the puzzle to help the big picture and impact the future. All right. I hope that makes things more clear, not quite as muddy. And if you're still fuzzy, still want a little more information, let me know and we can talk about it when we get together to talk about your, um, your, your research question and refining that. Okay, so talk to you soon.